Welcome back to the 70th Annual CIA Awards with your host, Nicki Minaj. When I was asked to host these awards, I was a little nervous. Maybe because I was thrown into a van and injected with mind control drugs. Damn, this new Billy Crystal has the juiciest ass. But as they kick in, it's becoming a night of magical moments. We've seen Agent Jackson win Best Wiretap Sound Mixing. Woo, Jackson! And of course, Deputy Director Bullock's annual win for Best Chili. And the winner for Best Undercover Agent is... Agent X. Wow, I didn't even prepare a speech. Felix, Isabella, you can go to bed now. Oh, God, I said your names on television. Pack your bags, get out of the house. Make sure you're not being followed. That is bringing this to the place we discussed. And the award for most elusive villain goes to... Is everyone in position? The Falcon! This is the third time the Falcon has not fallen for this. And now, the only agent who refuses to wear a towel in the CIA locker room, Duper! Nominees for Best Spy Seduction are... Tyrese Gibson for Senior Seduction. Dick Reynolds for Dictator's Horse. And Stan Smith for Smoking Hot North Korean Super Spy. We simply must stop running into each other like this. Red wine and Everclear, you remembered. Or maybe I just forgot to forget. And the winner is Stan Smith. Oh, there's so many people to thank. But I wouldn't be here without my elementary school gym teacher, Mr. Raggins, who taught me everything I know about seduction. After all these years, it turns out Stan Smith can be romantic. You seduce the crap out of that spy. No biggie. I just put hours of thought into who she is as a person and what would make her truly happy, and then I gave it to her. Well, how about you give it to me? Pass. <laughs> Sexy Stan is just an act I put on for work. At home, you get the real me. This little sucker was trying to make a run for it. The hell you do! Francine, I think I feel a pimple on my back. Can you take a look? Can we do our gross stuff tomorrow? I'm still hoping to get a little of that sexy, suave Stan I saw tonight. Hey, it's not like you're hot and sexy 24-7 either. What about your nasty, jagged toenail that's always scratching up my leg in bed? You ran over my foot with your car and it never grew back right. That was for a bit and it was hilarious. This is exactly my point. I bet you don't talk to Korean spies about their toenails. Of course not, they're Korean. Well-manicured feet are part of the deal. I'm going to bed, right after I just destroy the bathroom. Oh, Francine, you deserve better. Klaus, were you hiding back there? Hiding? This is a normal bull spot. Listen, the reason Stan only romances spies is because spies have something he needs. And you don't. That's not true. I have a- Vaginas don't count. They're like all over the place. Throw a rock, you'll hit three. Beep, beep, beep. Last night was a doozy. Woke up in a pool of blood with my thumb up my ass. I think I'm sleeping wrong. And I brought Miss Nicki Minaj back here and had the squeakiest sex of my life. <laughs> or did I? Francine? Honey, I feel awful about last night. I know you can't be the same guy at home as you are at work. So I came down to break me off a piece of sexy... Work, Stan. Right here? In front of everyone? Oh, I think they'll leave us alone when they hear about the double fudge brownies I left in the kitchen. 
I get your drift, you sly little minx. Attention, everyone. There's brownies in the kitchen. Follow me. God, I'm bored. But things will pick up as soon as the mail gets here. Oh, yeah, the mail's going to be a game changer. I mean, it's the mail. The mail always delivers. Guess what? I'm into classic cars now. Screw the mail! Oh, yeah! That's right. I'm going to be one of those regal road dogs showing off his wheels in the Bob's Big Boy parking lot. A real PTH-er. PTH stands for pop the hood. We have our own lingo, us car heads. Car heads meaning car likers. Roger, this is so cool. How'd you get into it? Well, if you must know, I was wheelbarrowing home from the liquor store when I happened upon a vintage Mustang. Now, normally I couldn't care less about some old hunk of junk, but something happened. Something truly amazing. I mean, what's better than a thumbs up from a mustache guy? I don't know. Two mustache guys giving you a thumbs up? Oh, no, you don't want that. Trust me. The answer is nothing. Nothing is better. And if tooling around in some old car is my ticket to Thumbtown, then vroom vroom, baby. Vroom vroom. I like the sound of that. How do we get involved? It's classic cruiser's night down at the Triple B. Bob's big boy. More lingo. So how about we buff another coat of sparkle on this baby and go get thumbed by a mustache guy? Vroom vroom! Oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we're so bad at eating. Sir, a thumb drive with the identities of half our undercover agents around the world was stolen during our brownie break. Well, those agents knew the risks. The drive also had a copy of your secret chili recipe. Ah! <laughs> we must stop at nothing to get that drive back. Nothing. But who could have stolen it? The jackal? The falcon? Who? The beaver. Sorry, Francine, are you talking to somebody? I'm not Francine. I'm a hot-ass super spy with stolen CIA secrets. The Beaver. Oh, I want a cool spy name. I will be... The Beaver. Hold on, that's my name. No way! We came up with the same spy name at the exact same time. You were right, Klaus. I didn't have anything Stan needs, but now I do. Or should I say, the beaver does. And once the CIA realizes a lady spy has their thumb drive, they'll send Stan to romance it away from her. And her is me. So it's me who's getting romanced by Stan. Because I have something he needs. Yeah, I got it like five words in. It's not that complicated. Now I just need a website for the CIA to find advertising that the drive is for sale to terrorists. I can make it. I bleed HTML. Okay, let's set this baby up with a CSS on the back end, tweak the GUI, enable JavaScript, register the site at geocities.com, and voila. Klaus, it's breathtaking. Hold on, hold on. The cherry on top. And be turned off. Sure, the outside looks clean. But what about the engine? Mmm, so clean I can eat an egg off it. Mmm. I declare this vintage automobile perfectly restored. Roger, look! A mustache man! He's giving you a thumbs up. And he's got the bacon for your eggs. Shh. Shut the f*** up, Steve. Is that Jay Leno? Yep. Classic cars are the perfect Leno bait. See, this wasn't about Bob's big boy mustache rides or whatever. It's about revenge. <laughs> wow, Roger's gotten a lot of use out of that dog catcher pole. Great purchase. <laughs> Guys, I have a Google alert for the word spies, and a new site just went up. Ooh, sparkly. High tech. This beaver claims to be a hot-ass super spy selling a stolen... <laughs>